The Waituna wetlands just out of Invercargill are an awe-inspiring site, stretching for thousands of hectares and providing a safe home for our precious native birds, fish, plants and of course eels. And these wetlands are also internationally significant. So let's get our feet wet and find out what Waituna has to offer. The water comes down the streams and into the wetlands and the soil and the peat absorb all the nutrients and get rid of all the nasty stuff out of it and then it goes out into the lagoons and lakes and then out into the sea and it's a cleaner product. The Waituna Landcare Group set themselves up to protect the wetland and they are a group of farmers and they now protect it by making sure that certain things aren't done out here and we've been lucky in the 80s we got a Ramsar wetland put on a small portion of it and now in 2008 we have doubled the size of the Ramsar wetland. A Ramsar wetland is an internationally significant piece of land wetland which has high values in birds, animals, soils, fish, insects and in New Zealand we've only got eight and um, it's really special to have that on a wetland. Locals love the place, um, they come out and they visit it, duck hunters are always out here, um, fishermen. These are great. I'm going to disappear and we do realise that. <laughs> So this is us? Yep. This is our net here. So we've got these our flounder. A flounder! Mm. Alright, so we want to carry it up onto the bank there. Okay. Quite heavy. One of the things about eels is they don't always stick to the river and on wet days you might see them crossing a paddock. They can do that pretty easily, as you can see. <laughs> How old do you think they'd be? One about this size could be about 10 years old. Really? Yeah. Whereas if you get an eel with a girth about that size, they might be up to about 80 years old. Whereas this one here, I would say, would be around about 30. Because they're such long-lived species, they either contribute to the commercial catch or to the recruitment. They can't contribute to both because they spawn once and they die. And they go all the way, well, they think, to around about Tonga somewhere into a big deep sea trench, and that's where they spawn. And then their larvae make the massive journey back. The reason why we have flounder in this environment is because the lagoon is open to the sea every now and then. So they end up in the lagoon even though at the moment it's essentially fresh water. What's really cool about flounder though is that they start off swimming this way when they're little, when they're juveniles, and then their eye migrates around one side so that both eyes are on one side of their face and they turn over and swim that way. We've got some bullies, quite easily identifiable um, by those the gills they've got on the sides of their um, sides of their heads. Sadly, over the last 150 years, we've lost more than 90% of our wetlands. But by visiting a place like Waituna, you get to experience why they're so important for wildlife, water quality, flood protection, and recreation. Mm -hmm.